Hi friends, welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Emily. Today's video is a quick haul video. I went to two estate sales and then two thrift stores this morning. I originally was gonna be working on DIY projects, but I need the miter saw to do that and my husband is doing an install today, so he has it. So I decided that I would go shop a little bit. So tomorrow I am bringing down this piece behind me. It is a curio cabinet that I just redid. That video um, will be coming out at some point, but I'm bringing this down to my booth tomorrow and I wanted to bring a few other things that I have been collecting over the past couple weeks as well as stuff from today. So I figured I would just do a haul. So let's get started. So this morning I was online, I went to estatesales.net and I looked at estate sales in my area and there were two that were going on and they were the last day. So they were doing 50% off or more on the items. So I was like, well, I'll go see what there is. One of the pictures in one of the, um, the, the sales piqued my interest with some art. So I figured I would go check it out. And when I got there, it was pretty picked over and the art that I saw even 50% off was still really expensive. Um, so I did not end up grabbing those that I saw, but I did find some other things. So I'll start with that estate sale. Um, there were two little pieces of art that I grabbed and I'm not sure, um, this is the first one. So like I said, this was 50% off. Um, so you can see I ended up getting it for $5. I grabbed it because of the ornate frame. There were several of these smaller prints, but they were all really damaged. And there were a couple that I may have been able to kind of try and repair with, you know, using um, molds or, or even hot glue to see if I could, you know, like recreate a little, you know, bits and pieces of it. But I didn't really want to hassle with it. I am, um, here, let me just show you this one. So these are definitely just, um, you know, they're not real. They're reproductions they're completely fake but they are from i really loved how the back was from um, you can see it's from amsterdam they're really cool um i'm not going to keep this art in here because it's not it's just paper um i'm not worried about redoing it so i grabbed this one for the frame as well as this one I, like I said, I really just love these frames. Um, the back is the same. So if you didn't catch my last video, um, I mentioned that I am going to be doing a fall um, like vintage market called the Junkin' Pumpkin. So I am starting to keep um, my eye out for things that I want to bring to that. So I grabbed, that's why I grabbed these frames because I'm going to end up doing something different in the middle of them, um, for, for that event. So I'm going to set these aside for now. I also found this apothecary jar. So I grabbed it for 50 cents, which is great. Um, I have several of these, um, in my house, I use them in my bathrooms for like the Q-tips, cotton balls, things like that. But I will be bringing this. Um, I don't know if I'll put it, bring it into my booth. I have sold the other ones in my booth, um, but I may keep it for the event. I'm not sure. I haven't found one of these in a while in my area, so I may hold on to it until October. I came across this cool, what was it, like just like tin or aluminum? I, I mean, it's really lightweight. Um, got it for six dollars but I thought this would be really cool for the fall time so I am gonna hold this for that event as well um, I don't know if I will do anything to it or if I will just leave it as is but I really did like this for the fall time so the next estate sale I went to was actually like six minutes from the other one so it was great I grabbed um, I think I only grabbed like three things from that one as well both of them were really really picked over this second one had much better deals, but there just wasn't really a lot of stuff. The first thing that I grabbed, I'm going to end up covering my face, so I'm going to explain it. Um, it's just this old piece of wood, but when I saw it, I really thought of turning it into a, uh, what are they called, noodle boards? You know, the, the thing, the pieces of wood that go over, you know, on your stove. I really thought this would be the perfect size. I haven't tried it yet, um, if it'll fit on a stove but this is the piece that 
I'll probably, I'll take a better picture and I will show it to you. But it has, it's just really old wood and it has, um, what is this, tongue and groove. Um, they, they need to be more secure, so I'll probably end up having to wood glue them in place. But I thought just adding pretty decorative um, handles to this would be great for a noodle board. I don't think I would put anything on top of it just because the wood itself is just so pretty. Um, I may just freshen it up with like a coat of um, like antique wax or something, just like richen it up a little bit, but I got that for $1.50. So I'm really excited to see if I can turn this into a noodle board and bring it to that event in October as well. Okay, I grabbed this little coffee table. I ended up getting it for $5. I am going to show a better clip of this um, for you. It's just, it's lightweight, but it's kind of hard to, to show you while I'm sitting here. So I'll show you another clip. The glass comes out very easy and there is that lip. So what I'm thinking of doing is removing the glass. Um, and instead of having glass here, doing strips of wood so that I can stain that and then paint everything else. And it'll be more of like a, like a farmhouse kind of vibe versus whatever style this is right now. Um, I really liked the, the legs on it and it was in really, really good condition. The woman at the estate sale said that she actually bought it from another estate sale and was going to flip it herself, but she never got around to it. So I got that for $5 and I will definitely be showing you what I end up doing with this one. Now, the last thing that I grabbed from this estate sale isn't for me, it is for my friend. I keep an eye out for her when I go to estate sales and thrift stores. She looks for um, like old, um, glassware for cocktails and I do the same um, she has a very similar taste to uh, that it's a very similar taste to myself so when I saw these I thought of her um, I am set for now with the glassware that I have but I saw these um, they are real crystal and they all had very very pretty real crystal and they were uh, they ended up being a dollar each so she got 12 of these glasses for $12 which is amazing and it was great because the woman at the estate sale actually had the box that these came in because I was really worried about how I was going to transport these um, back to my house until I can give them to her but we have the original box so they're all wrapped up individually in newspaper and I'm going to just set them aside for her until I can get with her. But I wanted to share those with you. Those are really, really pretty. And um, I'm always keeping my eye out for things like that. So last weekend, I actually went to another estate sale with a friend of mine. And I did find a couple things. One of them I will show at the end of this video because it is out in the garage. <clears throat> excuse me, it is out in the garage. It is a piece for my booth. Um, it is not to sell. It is strictly going to be a like a staging piece and it's like a shelving unit that um, is definitely hand built. So it's really cool and I'm gonna be bringing that down hopefully tomorrow with this piece as well so that I can do a complete refresh of my booth. Um, the first one is this piece of art. Um, it is definitely, it's hand painted. It is a canvas that has been framed and I ended up getting this, I think this was $15. Um, I went back and forth because they weren't really doing sales on their art, but this was hand painted by the woman who lived there. Um, she had passed away and I, I just, I loved this particular piece, especially the frame that it was in. Some of the other framed canvases that they had, I just didn't really like the frames, but I loved this one. I want to keep it for myself, but I may, I think I'll hold on to it for now. Um, I just love, I, I love this. I don't normally gravitate towards this kind of art, but something about it is just 
calling out my name. So I may keep this in my office um, for now. And then if I want to part with it in October at the event, then I'll bring it there. Um, if not, then it'll just stay at my house. And then the only other thing that I grabbed from that estate sale were these two old books. I um, I'm always on the hunt for these books. Um, they sell really well in my booth. What are you doing? They sell really well in my booth. Oh no, what are you gonna do? Don't jump in there. They sell really well in my booth, but I think I may hold on to these until October as well. I don't have that many books um, at the moment in my booth, but I do wanna have some for October. And this is a great color for the fall time, so I think that they will sell well. Um, I believe they're the same. So they're the same book, well, there's different sections. So they're Burl's Self Culture. Um, one is Manners, Morals, Civics. Do you see that? I don't remember where I was. So this one is Manners, Morals, and Civics. Um, the inside was really cool. Not only the spine, or the the spines but the book pages but i love the inside and oh there's a letter oh did i just lose it one for betty and one for little margaret okay i'm not sure but that has been in there for a while because it has definitely stained stained the pages okay I was looking for the copyright. Um, I know some people that watch these when I share the books, they do like to know the copyright. So this is copyright 1920. I don't know, I just thought these were really cool. All right, so enough with the estate sales. Now we're going to go into things that I got while I was thrifting. And the first thing that I grabbed was this green bunt pan. I thought of fall for sure. Um, whether I keep it as is, I mean, this color is awesome. I mean, this is such an awesome vintage green and it's great for the fall. So I don't think I'm gonna do anything to this. I may just put some, some stems and greenery out of it to make it look like a pumpkin, but not actually touch this because it's really, really pretty. So. I grabbed this. I don't remember. I grabbed this last weekend. I mean, it may have been a dollar, maybe two. So I'm excited for this. On that green theme, I grabbed this for $6. I don't know. I just, I saw this green and I immediately went towards it. It says RRP Co. Roseville, Ohio, um, 308. So I thought this was really, really cool. I don't personally like collect these um, or, you know, use them in my decor, but I know a lot of people do. So I grabbed this for my October event. I'm just going to set this aside with everything else. I grabbed this greenery piece. Um, I got this, it says $5. Um, I don't know if I paid $5 or if it was discount, I'm not sure, but this is great for in my booth. Um, the other one that I had in there just recently sold, so I'm going to bring this down there tomorrow for sure to add um, so that I have some greenery and some other textures going on in my booth. I found my first flower frog. I'm pretty sure this is a flower frog. So I saw this at first and I was like, this is just a really pretty pottery piece. Um, this is what it says on the bottom. I got it for $3. But when I looked on the inside, I saw this. And isn't that what a flower frog is? Let me know in the comments. I thought this was like a flower frog. So I thought this was really cool. And I grabbed it for 
Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to put it in my booth or bring it for October, but it is more beachy. And if you don't know, I live in Florida on the East Coast, so beach theme goes over really, really well um, in my booth and at events. So I grabbed this because I thought this was really cool too. And it looks really awesome in here. So I am working on staging this piece so I can take my final pictures for um, the video when I finally get it put together. Um, but I really liked this piece. And for three bucks, I thought this was really cool. I found these two, um, they're can the, you know, the little skinny candle holders, but I got them for a dollar each. And I am going to, um, they're not for me, they're, they're to either put in my booth or for October. There's a lot of, like, I'm at the point right now where I'm just not sure if I should bring everything to my booth and then just pull things out, um, or just kind of wait and see and hold some stuff until October. So I have to figure that out, but I really liked the detail on, um, on this and, I just thought it was really pretty and delicate and it would look good. It also looks good on this curio cabinet. Um, I just popped them on there when I brought them home. I grabbed this giant bag of um, decorative orbs for $3. I'll take one out so you can see. I thought these would be great for display. I'm not sure if I'm going to... Um, if I'm gonna paint them and distress them back because of all of the awesome detail that's on here. I haven't decided yet, but I grabbed them. I just have to find the perfect vessel to put these in. I'm definitely gonna hold on to these until the October event um, because if I can find a really cool basket or something to display all of these in, then um, that'll be great for obviously to stage them, to sell them. So let me know in the comments, would you leave them as is or would you paint them like a lighter color and then distress back the, um, the darker details? So let me know what you guys would do. So I know this is, I mean, I wasn't really gonna share these, but I figured I would just because um, I have these pieces behind me. So these two um, candle, they're candles. Um, I got them for 50 cents and they have that like faux bark look. Ooh. They have the faux bark look. They've never been lit and I grabbed them purely for staging purposes. Um, if you saw last week's video, I did two candlesticks and they're actually behind me. Well, Tux is there too, but they're behind me and I will zoom in. We'll see how well this goes but I grabbed them because I have two candlesticks in my booth and they haven't sold yet. So I'm wondering if I bring these down there and put them, if I put them on, then maybe they'll sell better because they're, you know, you can see what they clearly are. So I grabbed those 50 cents a piece. Um, and then the very last thing that I grabbed at the thrift store, this was 60% um, off. So the thrift store that I went to, all of their furniture was 60% 60 per, 60 off this weekend because they have their whole furniture room is completely full. So they wanted to purge so they could bring in the new inventory of stuff that they have. So I got this for, I think it was $12. Um, I think with change round up to 13. So I will obviously take a better picture of this to show you and it's in great shape. Um, and I'm going to be redoing this as well to um, bring to the October event. So maybe I'll do both of these pieces together for a video and throw in some other stuff. Um, this is the piece that I grabbed from the estate sale last weekend. I got it for $15 and this is so awesome. It's um, a little rickety if you can see, but it is going to be great for display in my booth. I am so excited. And I don't have to do anything to this except clean it up really good. And I'll show you. So you can see this entire piece is just really held together with these um, like brad nails. So what I need my husband to do is actually put um, some screws in here to 
secure it so it's not so wobbly. Um, hopefully he can do that today before we bring it down tomorrow. It's not the end of the world because again, this is for display only. Um, I'm not gonna have it for sale. So I'm just really excited. I got it for $15. I think I'm gonna add crates, um, the crates that I have in there now above it um, to add some height and eventually I'll figure out something else to attach to the top so I can raise this up higher so I can obviously display some more things but wanted to share this one with you guys as well. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Please let me know in the comments what was your favorite item that I grabbed. I cannot wait to start working on these two furniture pieces. Hopefully I will get to them sooner rather than later because before I know it October will be here. I mean it's pretty much the end of July so only really have two full months to get working on these items and have them ready for the beginning of October so I have a lot of work to do but stay with me because I will have videos coming out of all the things that I am doing so I will see you all in the next video have a great week bye guys